So heading into Saturday afternoon, we're going to be watching potential tropical cyclone number four making its way into the Gulf of Mexico. Some of the warmest waters in the Atlantic are here. Conditions favorable for development. Now we're expecting the depression to form heading into Saturday as it works its way uh, into the Gulf of Mexico. And as it does and works further north, Tropical Storm Debbie, that is the next name on the list, is expected to form sometime heading into Sunday morning, potentially making landfall heading into Sunday night or Sunday evening. Now this is is going to be tugged northward by this trough in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Up until now, this system has been kind of steered along by lower level winds because it's been a weaker system. It's been going over a lot of mountainous terrain in the southern uh, in the northern part of the Caribbean. So Debbie is expected to work across Florida, though there is some discrepancies in the timing with this. We'll get into that in just a second, but Debbie is expected to curve back into the Atlantic and reintensify as it heads back into the open waters. Here's a look at the official forecast. Cone expected to become a tropical depression, making landfall heading into Sunday night, Monday morning at 65 mile per hour wind. So this is the newest forecast cone. You can already see tropical storm watches and warnings posted for part of Florida. Now take the spaghetti plot here with a grain of salt. I wrote take your some uh, spaghetti with a little bit of salt there, but until we get an actual well-defined circulation, spaghetti plots aren't the most reliable. So there's still some uncertainty with the timing, not only from the spaghetti plots themselves, you can still see there's some outliers that have this at Monday morning still in the Gulf of Mexico, whereas others are up by South Carolina. Part of the deal with that is the conflicting airflow. You can see this high pressure right here going to the northeast and this one going to the southwest. So that discrepancy could act to slow this down. And like I said it's having favorable conditions. Not a lot of wind shear and some very warm waters are expected to help this intensify to tropical storm Debbie. Either way, storm surge and lots of rain is expected over the Florida Peninsula wherever it makes landfall. But